Down the stairs he ran, and across the drawbridge, down the road, through the woods, and on to the wild mountains until they came to the dragon's cave. Come on, Guy shouted to the dragon, who had just made himself some toast and jam. Whoops! The dragon was so startled that he hiccuped a huge blast of fire that burned his toast to a crisp. What? What? But where? asked the dragon, with jam dripping all down his front. Where are we going? Are we collecting butterflies? Oh no, said Guy. Lots better than that. We're going to the castle. The dragon's eyes opened wide and his mouth opened even wider. The castle? he asked. He started to shiver and shake all over. Not, not the castle, he cried. No! It was so hard for Guy to have to stand still and explain things, but he tried to. Yes, he said, I want you to come home and meet my father. Nonsense, nonsense, said the dragon. I know what would happen. I know what happens to dragons who come from who come down from the wild mountains? Of course I do. They get made into suitcases and billfolds and, and, and bedroom slippers. He shivered again. I don't want to be made into bedroom slippers. Not even by the king. No, he roared. Guy shook his head. No, you don't understand, he said. You see, I brought home so many dragon skins that my father's tired of it. He wants me to stop. He even asked me if I wouldn't like to collect butterflies again. Isn't that wonderful? I don't have to pretend that I'm out killing dra- I mean, I don't have to pretend anymore. Isn't that fine? Now there was the best part of all, and I asked him if I could have a pet. Guy said, oh, will you be my pet, please? I mean, you could pretend that you were, but really you'd be my friend. Will you? he begged. At last the dragon took a deep breath, and then he said, All right, I'll come. If I if you promise that I won't be be made into bedroom slippers. <laughs> I promise, I promise, Guy shouted. Oh, he was happy. And so they went. The dragon said it might be easier if Guy rode on his back. So Guy climbed up and off they went. They went so fast that poor Guy's crown almost flew off his head. Please, he called down to the dragon, couldn't we go just a little slower? <laughs> down from the wild mountains they came, through the woods and down the road, galloping wildly. As they came clumping and clumping along the road, the farmers and the farmers' wives ran to see what the noise was. Well, they were amazed. Of course, they had never seen anyone riding a dragon before. <laughs> especially not a little boy. All they could do was run after Guy and the dragon. 